Alright, this book review is called The Olympic Rainforest in Ecological Web. It's by Ruth Kirk with Jerry Fr Franklin. Here's what the cover looks like. Uh, there's an interesting picture of the redwoods up there in Northern California. You probably didn't, yeah, unless you've ever been out there, you've probably never seen those. I've never, no, I've never, I've been a truck, I was a truck driver for 15 years, I've never been up there, I've always wanted to see them, but, you know, they, biologists' explanation as to why they grow so big and the rest, you know, they're only characteristic of that out there, I've got some conspiracy theories, but I cannot prove it, uh, you know, there are explanations of why these trees get so big when the rest of the world they don't and they have petrified wood out there in New Mexico and Arizona these trunks are as big as these are also and so why is these trees up there in Northern California so big and then we also know that the, they existed in the past during the dinosaur times you know that's a big question you know some of their explanations I you know Yeah, here's a good, these are good examples of some of those trees you would see up there in Northern California in the forest up there. You know, I've always wanted to be a go up there, but I just didn't have the money. Yeah, it's really a beautiful forested area. That's up in Washington also. There's Sitka spruce, and I've always wanted to take pictures in a lot of those areas, but uh, you know, it's one reason why I bought the book. You know, it's also a study of astrobiology, but it's also a study of, uh, you know, if you don't have the money or the time to go out there, you know, buy the book, because it doesn't mean you can't, uh, you know, you got a good visual and a good lookup. These are all lookup books, and that's one of the reasons why you buy it. If you're thinking a surfing topic or something, you just go to the book, and you don't have to go to a library or a bookstore, you know, you've already got the information at hand. So, these are a lot of good picture books and uh, lookup books. You got it. If you're going to Louisiana, I have been to parts of that in Louisiana where you see the swamps. You go east of New Orleans, uh, there's a lot of swamp areas, you know. Really, a lot of bogs, and there are people that live out there, Cajuns live out there. Probably people running from law enforcement, too, are living out there. Good picture of cedar and spruce trees. Good pictures of the forest areas up you'd see up there in Washington. Washington is a good uh, state to study forest in. It's a lot of forested land. There's not a whole lot of people living up there. And they're really, Oregon State and Washington are very uh, uh, environmental. If you go to Seattle, Washington, they're good about, uh, even their business districts, I've made deliveries to warehouses out there, and they forest in the whole warehouse area. All that's open is the parking lot. So you can't see, you have to know exactly where to make the delivery because there's no, you can't go look miles in the distance and say, ah, oh, yeah, that is, there it is over there, not in Washington, in Oregon, um, because they forest in the entire area. So until you're actually on top of the warehouse, 
you can't find it. You don't see it unless you, you know, you're going by the streets because you can't see the whole, everything out there is forcing in. I lost a dachshund one day. I backed up a dachshund, I backed up the dock, and he got loose and ran off into the forest, and I had to sleep there for a day you know, and a half before he finally came back, and I was able to get him back in the truck. Because once you go, you walk off the parking lot out there, you're in the forest. I mean, it's just really dense. They're, they're very uh, ecologically oriented is that they don't deforest a lot of areas. I wish they, you know, the people in South America would be a lot more conscientious about preserving their forest and learn something from the people up in uh, Washington. Because you don't have to deforest all that. You just take your parking lot and and you can actually double deck it. A lot of times the people up in you know, Washington, they'll double deck a parking lot so you don't have to have a big space of uh, you know, parking lot, and that's gonna, you know, take away forests and stuff. It's just good planning. And people up in Washington are very good about that. You ask any truck driver who makes deliveries up there, and they'll tell you that they're 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 known for that. And if you've been up there to make deliveries, you would not, you know, you would discover that. There's good swamp land. And, uh, you see that in Mississippi also. If you're riding uh, Highway 10 down there, you do get in parts of the areas where you can actually uh, see some of that from a truck. So I got to see, take some pictures out there. That's one thing bad about trucking is you don't get to see uh, you know, you do travel around a lot, but you don't, you can only go, you're limited some places to where you can go at because you're in a semi truck. So, you know, I would have done a lot, I look, wish I could have done a lot more sightseeing. Somebody, some people, drivers carried their, carried their uh, motorcycles with them. I didn't have one I could put on a truck or a scooter or something. You could actually drive for a couple miles and, you know, I wish I would have I'd done that. You know, or I had bought a scooter I could put on the back, uh, so you know I could have left. I could have taken some pretty good pictures. Well, so the. Black bear, as you can see, up here in Kentucky and parts of Colorado, out there. I tell you about bears. Uh, you know, bear, they don't go anywhere close to the highway. So if you think you're going to see a bear just traveling down upper Interstate Inter 80 up here. Uh, they, they're scared of trucks and you won't see them. Uh, so you're going to have to actually get away from the highway to actually see something, see something like that because they don't come anywhere close to the highway. And you don't want them to because any truck or a car runs into it is total them out, you know. There's a Douglas fir, it's one of the big firs. Yeah, it's a it's a family of trees that they classify in, in under the big tree category. And some go back to the dinosaur era, so if you're studying biology, you know, you want to study uh, you want to get good pictures of the uh, big tree book from the big uh, the big trees.
There's a good picture of a flying squirrel. I don't know what that's doing in there, but that's one of the. Uh, my uh, grandfather used to have one as a pet, and uh, he'd fly across the garage. on the Pacific Coast. If you go up in the northern areas of California, you'll see that, or you go on the Pacific Highway. The forest goes right on out to the beach, so if you ever travel around a lot, uh, that's a good place to uh, run along is the Pacific Highway. That's the best view, so if you're going north or south in California, you'll see a lot of good views. Yeah, it's a good place to film, take your camcorder, and uh, take, take your uh, you know, bring a good camera with you because that is uh, really a nice, it's called the Pacific Highway. And uh, parts of it, trucks weren't supposed to be there, but I was out there anyways because I wanted to see, you know, see the view. And some, some of the parts of the Pacific Highway, trucks weren't supposed to be out there. But it's good viewing, so, you know, I took the risk of getting a ticket. Douglas firs. It's a real black tree. Most of these rain, I thought this would be South America, but most of these rainforests are in Amer North America. You know, it's called the Olympic Rainforest, so, you know, you want to buy the South American book on rainforest too, because there's a lot of plants and stuff that aren't part of North America that are part of South America. But these are mostly rainforests you'd find here in America, you know. I was looking at the front cover. And I was thinking South America, but these are all stuff you would rainforest you find here in North America. So it's kind of a surprise. Well, that does it for this book review.